Hey guys, I'm back and I'm mad about something. Manifesting isn't about money. It isn't about privilege. It isn't about luck. It's not like that. If your intentions are strong enough and pure enough, and you really, really, really want something, you are going to make it happen. It's not about, I don't have this, I don't have that. That's an excuse. And that's why the law of attraction doesn't work for you. Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing magical today. If you're new here, my name is Tay Luna. Welcome to our channel. We do all sorts of spiritual videos here, hippie things, thrifty things, and I'm very happy to have you here. Make sure to click the subscribe button to become part of our tribe. And without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So today's video has been, I don't wanna say, I'm gonna say it, I'm triggered. I, I've, I've been triggered, guys. One of the topics that I see and lately have seen all over YouTube is the law of attraction and manifesting things into your life. Once I learned about the law of attraction and the power of manifesting things, everything in my life changed. Um, not in a way that like, I became rich and suddenly moved into this beautiful house and like got everything in my dreams. That's not really what it's about. And that's kind of why I'm here today. I'm here today to talk to you guys about the law of attraction, manifesting things, and the reality that is that. It's not some magical thing that's just going to bring everything you want into your life, you know, with the blink of an eye, with no effort. That's just not the reality of it. And, you know, some people may practice it that way if you have a more magical, sort of outlook on things that might be how you perceive it, which is totally fine. Um, but I wanna be able to explain to those people who don't necessarily have a very magical, um, witchy, spiritual mindset on this topic and explain the reality of how it works, why it works, um, and just crush some of your bullshit beliefs and stories that you're telling yourself because let me just start with this. If you guys want to watch the videos I'm talking about, I'll leave them in the description for you. Um, but I watched two videos recently um, and they were both wonderful. They were both of people explaining how the law of attraction allowed them to receive a, or earn a lot of money in their life in a specific period of time. Um, and I'm seeing of these videos pop up all over YouTube, you know, how to manifest $10,000 or, or $20,000 or whatever. And I know a lot of the people making these videos have really positive intentions and believe in the law of attraction and know deep, deep down, know how it works. But the way that it's being described is not, I don't think, the best way for people to understand that aren't in this mindset already. Because the moment I scroll down to the comment section, you guys, the moment I scroll down to the comment section, all I see are a bunch of people just listing excuse after excuse after excuse as to why it's not real, why it's fake, why they'll never be able to manifest. And I'm here to tell you today that all of the people commenting those things, you are selling yourself a bullshit story and that is exactly why the law of attraction doesn't work for you. Sue me. <laughs> Another person saying that the law of attraction basically places the blame on people if their life is bad. Chronically ill, dying, single, it's your fault because you're not thinking positively enough. The law of attraction is not placing blame on anybody at all, um, and if it is, maybe it should be there. Maybe it, maybe it is opening your eyes to changes that you need to make to live your life more effectively for you. People are going to have, you know, we all have things that make it hard for us, mental disease or illness. What else did she mention? Single. That is like one of the easiest things to manifest. The law of attraction is about putting out what you want to receive. So by putting out excuses and by putting out the bad things that happen in life that we all have to deal with, like it's inevitable even for the most enlightened human being, like 
you're just pushing yourself further from all the things you wanna manifest, if that makes sense. The law of attraction is basically the principle of you putting out into the universe exactly what it is you want to receive back. So it's not about sitting here and writing or chanting or doing all these things saying, I want this, I want this, I want this, and then getting it. That is not how this works. And I think that's a lot of what, I think that's what a lot of people think is it's, you know, just luck or it's you sitting here just writing or whatever. They don't talk about the work that it takes to achieve this manifestation. People saying that there's nothing wrong with it but it's being dishonest that this is a privilege. How does this apply to a broke college student who works in retail? The list of excuses makes me ill. You worked for that 15,000, you pushed out extra content, you published a poetry book, it didn't come through manifesting. Manifesting is that. Manifesting isn't just saying something's gonna appear and then it does. Manifesting is the energy that you're putting into something and the actions you're taking towards a bigger goal and like making it happen. The law of attraction, putting out what you want to receive, what does that really mean? Well, if you are looking to attract abundance, let's use that as an example because I've seen it everywhere. If you are looking to manifest or attract abundance into your life, you need to be on that same frequency. So what that means is you need to be putting out abundant energy to then be receiving it back. You can't just sit and write, I'm abundant over and over and over again and expect to get $10,000 in your bank account. That's literally not how this works. While you might think this is the power of the law of attraction, which I don't necessarily disagree with, mind you, it has more to do with the fact that you're actively writing down your specific goals and creating a positive energy in your mind that allowed you to push yourself and focus on a specific goal. Congrats on completing your goals, most definitely. Like, that's, that's all it is, you guys. You are going to set up a timeline of different steps that you need to take to get to your goal. You're not going to sit back and look through your scroll of all these excuses why you can't make something happen. It's work, you guys. It's not, you know, like all in the stars, all magic, which I have such a strong faith in those things. But when it comes to manifesting something material into your material life, it takes work. Um, and depending on what it is you need, it the work will look different. You have to put yourself in an abundant mindset. This means you have to say goodbye, break up with all of those stupid, bullshit, limiting excuses that you are telling yourself. So a lot of the comments that I saw was, you know, you have a privilege because you are an on, you know, you're a YouTuber and you make your own hours and you can kind of control how much income you you get per month or whatever. And then you see the whole list of, you know, well, how does this work for a broke college student? Or how does this work for a full-time parent? Or a full, you know, like all of these, all these, all these excuses. And it makes me really frustrated because I know that these people are coming from, from a place, most of them, of, of pure, like genuine confusion and, um, and misunderstanding because it is a hard concept to grasp. Every comment is like this, you guys. This is very cringy. I'm beyond happy for her attaining money, but this is straight up privilege. Only a job like YouTube or social media would allow manifestation of money. I have been on YouTube since I was in fourth grade, you guys, and I still don't even have over 7,000 subscribers. It has nothing to do with the job that you have. If you wanted to be an influencer and start a YouTube channel and do what she's doing, that you're all mad about, why aren't you doing it? Like, the possibility is there. Like I said, I've been on YouTube since I was in fourth grade. I'm almost 21 years old. I barely have 7,000 subscribers. I make the smallest living from YouTube, but I do it because I love it. And I believe that one day I will be successful in, you know, views and, and finances and all the other things and not only that but because i love doing it someone with a fixed income at a nine to five job would not have this opportunity so you're saying that somebody is who is on youtube has control over the amount of views that they get so therefore their paycheck every month they could control that 
Um, they can also control the sponsorship opportunities that they do or don't receive. Saying that she has it easy because she's a YouTuber is like a really lame poor excuse. If you have a 9 to 5, you have a whole lot of other time that's not accounted for by working your job that you could be out there manifesting and maybe starting a little side job doing something that you like or selling your old clothes online or doing something like nobody nobody is privileged here she just worked hard because she believed that she could achieve something therefore did i don't see any privilege there as a college student if you want to manifest straight a's you're going to do that and you know what you're going to do you're going to set up s steps to get you two straight A's every single time. You're gonna have a foolproof method and in the back of your mind, you don't have a little voice saying, you're not gonna do it, you're not gonna do it. Your voice is gonna be so well-trained that it's gonna cheer you on and hype you up more. So you are more and more likely to like reach this goal. I just came from working a full-time job, having um, a boss that is very sexually like inappropriate with me at work, um, was there full-time, didn't pay my rent at all, uh, my landlord was an asshole, like I could go on and on and on. And you know what? I manifested getting out of there and making my other sources of income stronger than my full-time job so I could leave it. Um, so now I teach yoga classes around my community. I make YouTube videos for the smallest percentage of my living. And I continue to manifest things into my life that will make me happy. And let me just say before I get yelled at in the comments, I'm not saying excuse in a negative connotation. I'm saying that you are putting up this belief. You are almost putting up a wall between yourself and your desires by having that belief system. By saying that having a 9 to 5 job keeps you from getting what you want and then pointing the fingers and saying well you're only getting what you want because you have all of these special things that we don't all have and that is just simply not the case especially coming from me as one of the smaller smallest spiritual youtube channels or just youtube channels in general i believe so firmly in the power of the law of attraction even down to manifesting money but I don't make a lot of money from YouTube, you guys. I maybe make like $50 a month in ads, maybe. Everything else that I do is completely on my own. I run a single, you know, I run businesses on the side. I sell art, I thrift and resell. So I do a lot of other things to achieve the monetary goals that I have set for myself. You can't just be like, oh, well, you know, I'm not a big YouTuber. No one wants to sponsor me and pay me, so the law of attraction doesn't work for me. And because somebody else has those things, well, that's why it works. They're, they're just at an advantage. Nope. By saying that to yourself, you are pushing so much further away from that high frequency of abundance that no wonder you're not going to achieve it. You're telling yourself the story over and over and over again of why you can't do it, of why somebody else is doing it better than you, or why you don't deserve this money or you know whatever it is you're trying to manifest. Keep If you keep singing yourself the same song, you're not gonna get different results, you guys. You have to put yourself in a mindset, okay, I'm abundant, I want abundance, I give abundance. How can you be of service? How can you, you know, share that abundance with the world? If you don't have money to go give to people to spread abundance, you can spread an abundance of love and light by just being a good person from person to person um, and raising your vibration that way, starting with baby steps and working your way up. So once you've achieved, you know, giving all of this abundant love and light to people, okay, now we can start talking about physical money. How can we bring that into our life? If you're not a YouTuber or if you work a nine to five job, you probably still have some time at the end of your day to dedicate towards something that you really love or believe in, right? So it's about taking that time to figure out in your mind, okay, I have these tools. I have this much time. I have a killer mindset right now. How can I use all these tools to more powerfully like cultivate this abundance that I want. This might be the time for you to take up a hobby that you've always been interested in that you've just, you know, told yourself stories of why you can't start it or starting that business that you really want to start 
or you know just selling something on the side that you like if you make crafts just selling them on the side or getting a little side job at a cute boutique that you like if you're into fashion or something like that you can do so many things to invite money and invite abundance into your life it just all starts with deleting that shitty mindset that you can't have it because of this and this and this and this and this or because this other person has all these things when we're talking about abundance, we're talking about abundance from our creator above, whoever you believe or whatever you believe that may be. They created abundance. It is overflowing and infinite, just like the universe is. And so by limiting your beliefs and saying that, well, this person is successful in this field and they are abundant, so that means I can't be, is not right. Like there's abundance to go around to everybody you guys you need to understand that just because one person is successful and abundant doesn't mean that you can't be and also doesn't mean that you shouldn't want to be in fear of you know like dipping into their abundance because that's just not how it works you guys this is infinite we all have access to it you just have to delete all these old patterns all these old habits all these old mindsets to put yourself in a place to see all of the possibility and that's where it starts it's not about magic it's not about luck it's not about being more successful than another and it's not about being more successful than another person it's just about cleansing your shitty beliefs getting rid of them and being like you know what I am abundant I am powerful and even if you don't have the you know the financial like support that you maybe want or need right now that doesn't mean that you're not abundant in other aspects of your life you need to tap into the things that you're already abundant in to match that frequency to you know bring in abundance on other on other planes for other things like money or you know like a good house or a good job or anything like that you have to start small you have to start with your mindset that's where it all begins so I know this video might be a little confusing for those of you who aren't super familiar with the law of attraction or manifesting things into your life, but I just felt very, very called to put a message out there to you and to the universe and let you know that the only reason you're not achieving your goals is because you're not letting it happen. You are not allowing your mind to tell you, you can do it. You have the tools that you need to get there you just have to plan from point A to point B. If you need help planning your goals, I made a video on how to set goals that you'll actually achieve this year. I'll link it down there so you can check it out. This could totally be part of that. Setting a goal to manifest something into your life and to really, really work hard at it. To, you know, not sit here and just want, 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 but have gratitude for the things that you already have and put that high frequency energy out there because it's just gonna be matched with high frequency and that's just gonna come right back to you. And that's when you receive things like your dream clients and you know the money that you've been needing for or wanting for so long or that trip you've been wanting to go on, an opportunity will just start to present itself naturally because you're putting yourself in that place for it to happen. If you don't change your mindset, if you don't think that you can do it, if you have all these negative pre-existing beliefs, these opportunities will never show up for you, ever. I will definitely be doing a video on the law of attraction and manifesting in the way that I like to do it personally. So if you guys would be interested in seeing something like that, please let me know in the comments down below. If you have any, if you have any advice for mindset work or um, for the law of attraction or anything like that that you would like to leave for all of us as a tribe, again, leave it in the comments. We would love to have it. If you guys need some help changing your mindset, definitely consider joining our online spirituality course. I have loads of printables that you can use, even down to just planning your daily routines that will help you get more in an abundant, high vibrational mindset that will just start to attract the things that you want into your life more naturally. Everything is what you what you make it, right? What you your perception is your reality. So if you alter your perception to be like, I am abundant as fuck. I can do and receive anything that I want. I can start any business that I want. I can do anything that I want. I am abundant. I am loved. I am grateful. I'm supported. Once you start living in that, everything will change. You're not just gonna get a $10,000 check one day. But 
the steps to getting that $10,000 check will start to reveal themselves to you and it will be a lot easier of a path for you to go down. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope I've inspired you to maybe go back and kind of start deleting in the back of your mind, in the back of your subconscious, deleting those negative mindsets that you've set for yourself, that you've set for your family, that you've set, you know, and it's not a bad thing. We all do it. Hell, I did it too until I was like, why am I doing that? No wonder I'm broke. I'm acting like it. So I hope it helps you guys. If you need your mindset, if you need help with mindset work, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link to our printables down in the description so you can check them out. I have all sorts of different exercises that you guys can try. And of course, if you join our online spiritual course, we have our whole entire tribe for you to be supported by. Um, and it's just an amazing opportunity for us all to come together, support each other, and really, really raise that vibration and get those things that we want in our lives and make it happen, you guys. This is your year, and I am so excited for you watching this and for me also so we can just raise our vibrations and really call in all of those things that we want for ourselves in our lives this year. You have the power and I am so determined to make you aware of your power and that is my goal for this year. You are powerful and you can manifest anything you want into this life and I am going to be right by your side as we do that together. I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video.